Hello everyone, welcome to Danny Tree Frog Reviews. You know, nearly two years ago I said, you know, I'm kind of starting to think that maybe I should have had some clips from the original Rayman to do some comparisons in my video about Rayman Brain Games. Well, I'm still not doing any comparisons, but in honor of the 25th anniversary of Rayman, not the exact day that's already passed, I will be reviewing the original Rayman for PlayStation. You know, if I'm honest, I didn't intend on this. This is the 25th episode of the show, and I'm reviewing a game in honor of its 25th anniversary. I, I swear I didn't intend on it, but here we are. Anyway, this version of the game was released in September of 1995. How does it hold up today? Well, many reviewers have reviewed this game, but you decided to click on my video, so I'll give you my take on it. And there's that sound they reuse for Rayman Brain Games. Hi folks! You wanna know what's going on? Let me tell you the story of Rayman! Okay, so this is a beautiful opening, but we need to move on here. So allow me just to skip this and then get mad that I don't understand what's going on. Sorry folks, this apparently can't last. No well, that's not Billy West! Why does my voice sound like that? I th oh, wait, uh, let me fix the mic here. Well, you know, at least unlike Rayman Brain Games, we have the actual title here, the, the whole title, which is just Rayman. Lord have mercy, I am doing comparisons, aren't I? Initially, this was... <laughs> I'm sorry I had to do it. Why do I make stupid jokes? You know, this design really confused me as a kid. I really thought his hands was his nose and then his cape was his mouth. What a wild imagination I had. Okay, shh, guys, be really quiet. Be very, very quiet. You gotta be quiet. I'm freaking serious. You gotta be quiet. Well, that music made it sound like it was gonna be intense. It's all peachy now. Anyway, this part of the level is pretty easy. It just kind of eases you into the game. All you can do is walk and jump. Enjoy it while you can, though, because the rest of the f***ing game is really tough, but we'll get to that later. Well, I already found the secret area. A bit early, but okay. These bonus challenges are basically just get all the little blue things in time and then get a life at the end. They're alright little time wasters. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not really fighting any enemies at the moment, well, that's because I can't. Yeah, you have to unlock Rayman's iconic punch. Which, luckily, is just in the next area. What have I got myself into? I gotta crawl out of here. Batilda the, Fa Batilda the Fairy is the one who gives you the ability to punch, as well as some other moves later on. And so here's where Rayman's iconic punch comes from, and unlike the original Mega Man, you start out the first game with a charge. And this is the only way you can break the cages and set these little creatures free. What are they called? Gosh, the story didn't tell me anything. Why did it not tell me anything in the game? Uh, this is the worst game ever. 2 out of 10. This is IGN. With I won't go into too much detail with this complaint because we want to get to the fun complaints. But basically, these fruits can get a little annoying when it comes to trying to deal with them on hills. 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 And then you have these swingy ones that, uh... Well, they're also kind of annoying, but that mostly has to do with the precise platforming. And here we have the first boss area, which they give you plenty of things to, you know, be prepared. Why doesn't the rest of the game do that? Anyway, if you know what to do with this mosquito boss fight, it's actually pretty darn easy. And after years of the mosquito killing his family, Rayman swears vengeance and kills his enemy by g by... What the hell are you doing, Rayman? Oh, okay, I see what's going on now. Rayman physically abuses his enemies to the point where he can mentally manipulate them into doing his bidding. Or perhaps maybe they just made up and became yeah, free. you're not part of the show. Anyway, these auto-scrolling sections are alright. They're pretty fair with the challenge. I now have the power to hang! What do you mean by that? Innovation. Innovation. Crappity is confusing. Whew. 
At this point, you can actually select to go to a different world or continue the one that you're at. Which I'll probably just continue the one where I'm at. Tar Razan, a completely original name. I just have to say that I really hate these types of auto scrolling moments. It's just really slow and also still tense at the same time, however, they can pull that off. So let's say you accidentally go into a level you didn't mean to. Well, luckily, this back arrow sign can bring you out of it and bring you back to the hub world. It's pretty useful. The problem is that the clip I showed you was where I did it on accident. So depending on the situation, it can be kind of annoying, but it's mostly useful. Well, much like this is why I can't stand whenever you're thrown back every time you're hitting platformers! Luckily, there's a checkpoint right after that in the form of a guy taking a picture of you in front of a board thing. Most of the enemies in this game are actually pretty small, or around Rayman size, so they're not too bad. It's, what in the ever-loving f*** is that? I was gonna say how this doesn't really make any sense, considering I thought they were friends, but it does kinda look like he's being forced to do that. Now we're fighting what appears to be a relative of the Mosquito that we became friends with. And the fight's basically the same, except he has these little pointy fruit trying to kill you, and he takes more hits. He also has the giant fruit. So at this point you may be saying something like, Danny, wh what is this? I thought it was supposed to be hard, you seem to be getting through it. Well just you wait. Bandland is basically the start of this game's frustrating moments. You also start to realize just how long these levels drag on for. It's obviously divided up into different sections, but can we get off the drum here? But some of the longevity comes from the fact that you have to deal with the stupid enemies. I do have a special way of showing all the stuff I went through in this game while playing. Editing me, hit the music. Alright, I think you see my point. So you might be asking me, well, it looks like you got through everything and you managed to get everything despite all the frustrations and the life losing. Well, no, I, I didn't get through all of it. I used a password. Yep, this was one of those early PlayStation games where not everyone had a memory card at the time, so passwords could suffice. The physics of the game are okay, the controls are fine enough, and this game has some pretty good music and sound effects, albeit in somewhat weird places, but you get the idea. But the level design, the enemy placement, and sometimes the hitboxes are just not very good. It gets to a point where it just really isn't fun anymore. I have gotten far in this game, heck I've even beaten this game, in later ports where they definitely got a lot more generous with the lives and the health. The fact that you only start out with 3 hit points and can only upgrade to 5? With a game like this, it's really unacceptable. And like I said, later ports gave you more health and were a lot more generous with lives. Heck, there's even a smartphone version where there's a mode where you literally just have infinite lives. But with level design like this, it really only helps out a little bit. There's still a lot of instant kill moments and only a few checkpoints per level, so it just it's just really frustrating overall. I really want to love this game because it does have a lot of charm to it. But the level design and the difficulty just make it to where I just can't enjoy it that much. I don't think it's a bad game by any means, I just... I don't like it that much. So unless you love painfully difficult games, I really wouldn't recommend this game. At least not this version. Well thanks for watching this video everyone, and thanks for celebrating 25 years of Rayman with me. Obviously we have to do that because Ubisoft has no interest in doing that. But anyway, hit the like button if you like this video, subscribe if you want to see more, and remember, this is Danny Tree Frog with Danny Tree Frog Reviews.